Good morning, YouTube. We got a uh, new addition to the family today. This is our new horse. She's a three-year-old paint registered Missouri Fox Trotter. We went and looked at two two-year-old horses the other day. They were nice horses, but I just didn't feel any connection to them and they were in good shape they were you know had some chunk on them and were behaving pretty good but then we went to the same person's farm another farm of his and i saw this mare and he wasn't wanting to sell her but she she's really poor and she has like this weird mites or i think this is yeah these are some type of bug or mite coming out in her hide and she smelled and uh but Despite all of that, out of a whole herd, she walked right up and let me catch her. She's three years old and hasn't been messed with hardly at all or trained at all. But like, she'll let me pick her feet up. She's being very good about everything. Like, she's not trained to do that. She's just pleasant. And she gated really well, traveled really well. And I could tell she needed our help. Like, yeah, I've never seen care. anything like this. So despite it being winter, we just gave her a bath with an antifungal shampoo. It's really warm out today too. Yeah, it's like you know, it's t-shirt, it's t-shirt yeah, weather. It's warm. But we had to do it. She she smells bad. She has these little mites or whatever. So I'm hoping that antifungal, <laughs> antibacterial shampoo will kill that. Uh, I warmed her with Zermectrin Gold, which is a two-part warmer. I see the best results with that. My vet likes Quest Plus better, um, so I alternate. But really, Zemectrin Gold is what I see the best results with. So we're going to quarantine her, quarantine her, keep her in one specific stall where she can't touch any horses. Uh, put her out in the sunshine a lot, like today, because sunshine really helps. Brush her, groom her a lot. And then I put, um, for summertime, I have this spot-on stuff that's like to keep ticks off. Well, even though it's winter, I put a whole stream of it down her back to see if, if it would affect whatever she's got. Mm -hmm. There's thinner spots when she's dry and fluffy you can see she's itched and rubbed her her neck to where the hide is short i'm giving you this long list of things that's wrong with her but all in all i love her she's acting great she's got a lot of sense um let me show you how she travels so if you know what you're looking at, there's some quality there too. And not to mention, she just barely halter broke and she's acting this good. She wants her food. <laughs> yeah, she she says, enough of this, I gotta eat. But we'll just let her eat. This is the first bath that we gave Classy. You okay? You okay? You okay, baby? She wasn't too thrilled with the bath at first, but what you're seeing is all she did. She just stomped her feet a few times and then she settled down and stayed really calm for the rest of it. And as far as we know, she's never had a bath before, so this is all new to her. You can see right here in her eyes that she is not happy about this, but it's just necessary for her health and well-being. Once the bath was over and she was all clean, we tied her up outside in the sunshine for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, and she had hay and grain and water and she dried up really quickly. Okay, everybody, this is the next day. As you can see, we have washed her. She's actually had two baths. Um, because of the mites in her hair, I've used a medicated shampoo twice. And there was two warm days and uh, I wanted to get her out where there was, you know, in this sunshine to uh, let her dry. So she's been outside all day and I've been working on when one of the first things a young horse needs to learn is patience. So I've been tying her up here and letting her eat at this trailer. And when you're tying a young horse up, you always want to do a quick release knot. So come here and look at this knot real quick. 
Oh, what I'll do is I'll double wrap whatever I'm tying to so that it's easier to get the knot undone. Hold it in your right hand, the two legs coming together of the rope, you, between the thing you're tying to and your hand, you make a loop and go over right there between the, make a loop, go over, find this hole right here and you come back through it and that is a quick release knot. That way, when she gets tangled up in the rope or it falls down or rears back, I can just pull this one thing and she's untied. Also, you know, these young horses don't have patience yet. They haven't learned patience. So today, what I would do while I was working around the barn and she was drying, I'd put front hobbles on her. Every time she'd I hear her pawing, I'd come out and I'd put the hobbles on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Then I'd take them off. When she'd start pawing again, I'd come put the hobbles right back on as soon as she'd paw. So eventually she got to where she could stand here without pawing. And uh, that's a pretty good lesson for a day. And you know, she had food and then I cleaned her stall, put her back in, she got a drink. We've wormed her, as I showed you the other day with ivermectin and she's shedding worms like crazy. I think we're gonna try to put a picture of one up. I believe they're round red worms. Um, large, large round worms is what I think they're called. Really common worm. I don't know what the mites were in the hair yet, but they're almost all gone from the two medicated shampoos. You can still see the short hair here compared to the long hair here. See the difference? I think Does it's it, hard to see in this Well, way. it doesn't even cover up my finger here. And then up here, you know, my whole finger can be hidden in the hide. That's because there was mites all in this and she'd been rubbing it. But we've washed and scrubbed her with medicated shampoo and Dawn dish soap is a good thing too to kill mites. Put that in today. Um, she already looks fluffier today. <laughs> yeah, she's already doing way better. A couple of the good things about her, she's got great feet naturally for um, for a white hoofed horse. Her feet are pretty hard. They're the right, the correct angles. They're all um, squ you know symmetrical and square, just the right amount of heel. A hard, she's got a hard hoof. She's actually got really good hooves for you know a white hoofed horse, and she's pretty good about lifting them up. So. Things are looking up. Um, I'm going to give it about two or three more days or another day for this uh, medication that I gave her the Zemectrin Gold to work through her. Then I'm just going to squirt um, between 10 and 20 cc's of Normectin or Ivamectin in her mouth orally and that will make any other ticks or lice that she has fall off. So that will treat an external or an internal parasite. Um, it's made for an injectable, but I, I found for ticks, for external parasites, it works just as good orally. I don't know if any vet would recommend that or, or stand behind it. It's more of a, you know, a uh, barn trick that I've always done and it does work. I can prove it works. So you don't need to tell me it doesn't in the comments. Then after that, in about a week, I'm gonna put her through a four or five day worming regimen. I'll talk to my vet first with like Panicure, um, I think it's called Panzoquil, like Safeguard is another word for it, Safeguard Horse Dewormer. And that's a multiple day worming cycle and it's pretty gentle on the guts and it gets everything that this first round wouldn't have. I'm giving her a little bit of um, calf mana supplement in her grain. She's getting a 16% grain now and then all the hay she can eat. So her life has changed for the better in just a week. That's for dang sure. Her body condition is poor, but it's not so poor that she doesn't need exercise, but she's too poor for me to be riding. So I'm gonna pony her on April and take her, uh, and maybe even put a pretty heavy saddle on her and uh, just so that she can start working out and building muscle while she, cause I'm gonna be packing the nutrients to her. She's gotta be able to work while she does that. So that way she's not just gaining fat, she's gaining muscle as that nutrients go. And about a month of doing that, and um, she'll be thick enough for me to ride then. Because she's already old enough. She's three years old. Well, that's weird. You don't even care that there's a saddle on you? This horse has never had a saddle on before. She's either just not ever going to care, or she's all of a sudden going to care. <laughs> You don't care a bit. Surely she's had a saddle on before. No, he's, he said one time he put a saddle oh, on her. Oh, okay. It was a year ago, and it was just one time. 
Hmm. He said she didn't care. Yeah, she's just a gentle soul. Good girl. Yeah, she'll be fine. Good girl, huh? So like I said, this is my heaviest saddle. I don't know what it weighs, maybe 30 pounds, 25 pounds. So that gives her a little weight to carry. And we're gonna go take her and get her some exercise. So Becca's gonna be riding a client horse that we had at the time. Um, her name is Blondie. And then JR is gonna be riding You're April. Quit. Our dog's favorite thing to do is go on trail rides. So when they know a trail ride is about to happen, they go a bit crazy. <laughs> Are a little educated that she's being controlled. The thing about April is I can steer her one handed and with my leg, and I can move her out of the way. Like right now, with that hip away from that horse, I can hip out. April is an awesome horse. She is going to be four um, in just a few weeks, actually. And she's the horse that everybody wants to ride. She's just the type of horse that you can trust in all situations. JR uses her a lot to pony the untrained horses off because she stays so calm. So this is the first time that we did this with Classy. Um, first time we put the saddle on her. Uh, it's only the second day she's on our homestead. So over the last two days, that's a lot of new firsts for her. She has stayed so calm and collected throughout these two days that we've had her. We're just really impressed with her. And JR loves all horses, but once in a while one comes along and he just connects with it on a deeper level. You can see it in his eyes when he does it. And Classy is definitely one of those horses. This girl has already won our hearts, and we're excited to watch her blossom and grow and progress over the next couple of years. Make sure to give JR and Classy a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up with all of Classy's videos.